Okay, bucket seats, eBay mounts, modified. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to use two pairs to obviously make two pairs. We're going to use the same one from each kit. So this obviously bends this way, this one bends this way. We're going to use that for this side. And if you notice, look, these have got the slots versus the holes. So we're going to spin that round and use it on the other side. And then they're going to go that way on the other side. So otherwise you end up with slots on one side and holes on the other and then holes on this side and slots on that side so buy two pairs, split them in half and then we'll get into what we're doing Okay, so I've already had the seat bolted in here. This is where I know how far back I need to be. Uh, luckily, we pick up the last hole. Uh, you do have to make them slightly bigger because these aren't big enough to take the 12 mil, uh, the 12 mil bolt, 10 mil bolt, whatever size it is. You have to open it up. So I bolted those two at the back, and then obviously that's definitely not reaching this. So it's literally going to be a case of flat plate, weld round, weld in here, weld in here. Um, and then that's literally all that the seat mounts are going to be. Um, but basically the reason we're using the two of the same is to offset the seat that way. That way. Um, yeah, otherwise you end up sitting in the cage and then the seat doesn't fit here. And Yeah, so we're going to weld this up. I'm going to bolt the seat in and then we're going to do that side. That's something more difficult because somebody's cut the fucking mounts off like a dick. So we've got to make something over there, but that's no problem. Right, I'll weld these up and I'll be back. Okay, welded. Mounts up. And now it's literally a case of just bolt the seat in. There's, there's no hidden extras, that's it. Actually super easy to put seats in, so let's bolt him in. Right, seats in. Uh, I'd recommend putting all your bolts in loose first, and then tighten them all up together. Makes it a lot easier. But, yep, he's in. Do the other side, do some harnesses, and then do some outs. Okay, harness wise, uh, the inner two are basically going to sit in the transmission tunnel. Obviously, you've got these spreader plates, and I've tried to keep the spreader plate on as much of that lip as I can. As you see, that sits absolutely perfect on there. Um, you don't need masses of weld around these, just, just to stop them moving. Uh, so, I'll probably do a little line here, a little line there, and probably a little bit at the top. Uh, the other side, basically all I do, because I've got no mates, is hold that like that and then just screw that spreader plate on. So we'll get them screwed on and then I'll tell you what we do for all the other mounts, but the others are dead easy and I'll show you that just now. Okay, so you can now see where them two little eyelets are there. Uh, the rear four, so let's get balanced. So there's one here. One there, one there, and one in that corner. They're all factory OEM seatbelt mounting points, so they're perfectly fine to take a harness eye. One thing I would recommend is obviously putting a bar in the cage from main loop to main loop, just um, obviously at the right height. But currently, I don't have the tube to do it. So that will be all right for a minute. But then for the final harness eye point, it's just going to sit just down there. That's also an OEM seatbelt mounting point, so that's fine as well. But that's it, and then just clip your harnesses in, and you're done. Obviously, three slots in the seat, and then make sure they're not super loose and baggy, because obviously you want it a nice tight fit. But yeah, that's it for harnesses. The seat mount's a bit different because the previous owner decided kindly to cut the mounts off. At the front here, so you see, you can't see. Basically, there's meant to be studs that poke up through here. Uh, they've cut them off, so I've welded my plate to here instead, and then bolted the seat mount to the plate. So it's uh, just as sturdy as the other side. This is literally just a repeat of what we spoke about before, just extending those front front mounts so they pick up the original seat belt, uh, the seat mounts in the floor. But yeah, so you can see. The harness is quite literally just clip in to those eyes. Uh, I've done a little bit of a boo-boo though, and there's no clips. 
on the back straps so I either need to get some tube and weld it in or get some clips and thread them on and clip them in but for now that's that bit done you can see how they go it's dead simple both seats are in both harnesses are in just a final thing to note in this video about harness wrapping so basically what we've got is you've got this belt obviously this belt and it's all wrapped around all in here so basically what you want to do is it goes through the seat under this buckle over this buckle under this buckle under the bar over the top under this buckle over this buckle under this buckle the same but obviously going backwards and then that will bring this tail coming through this hole so then you go back over this first buckle over the second buckle and under the third buckle and that then ensures that it won't pull through obviously that's not going to be the sort of loads that will happen when you crash but you get the idea and then obviously just roll just roll this up and then cable tie it to here somewhere so it's nice and neat but yeah I see a lot of people wrap them wrong I used to be one of those people also so yeah wrap them right don't die look after yourselves I'll see you later